Hey guys, hope you're hungry. Welcome back to Full Incense. This is our full, our full house playthrough of Until Dawn. My name is Jericho and I'm joined as always by Science Entry. Hello. So this is the start of part two of the Until Dawn story. Uh, we've all arrived at the, the, um, the, the cabin and we're trying to find a way in. The door is, is stuck or, or something locked. It's um, iced over, he says. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, because they would have a key. Right. Right now we're controlling Chris. His um, would-be girlfriend, Ashley, is sitting on, on the steps there. They both like each other, but nothing's happened yet. And the guy in the green coat we're walking with is Josh, who was the brother of the two girls that died in the opening in the first episode. I mean, I would say protest because he likes her too, but I don't know. He would agree. It's yeah, up to you. I think agree. It seems like more natural. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? Like, I could never ask. Come on, man. She Aww. practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I... I don't know. I, I, I guess I'll gr agree. Yeah. Just to make him stop talking and nothing else. Right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear. No mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> it's not exactly an enlightened right, right, attitude. Right, right, right. He's mm. acting very problematic. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Right? Let's say I had a plan. It sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver code to your daughter, or else you got four lovely ladies who have been squeezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. The sound effect of the snow crunching below their snows, their shoes is perfect. Uh huh. All right, there's a glinty window. Let's see about this one. That's not even a window. Okay. All right, so I'm kind of pushing this along. He said they were all locked. Why did he do that like that? <laughs> That's Jim? Thing. Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I don't, I, I don't think, I don't so. think so. Here. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that at all. I wasn't even looking at the captions. <laughs> oh, he's not using his phone because his battery is dying, as we learned outside. Awesome Look at them filling in their own plot holes. <laughs> Yay for our explaining. <laughs> I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. God be so wrong. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a pretty tenacious little lighter. Yeah, just about to say that. Totem. What color is it? I think that's yellow. Yellow. 
So that's just guidance. guidance. Now that might be brown. Oh, uh, maybe. Okay, so that means oh. somebody else is in danger. Yeah, loss. loss. Okay. So that means we need to be careful how we do this burning thing. Yep. Which was probably a good idea anyway. Rats. If you missed uh, the second episode when we learned about the totems, so there are basically five kinds that are marked with butterflies, and the, the color signifies what sort of event we can expect. So brown right there was for loss, so it means Chris himself is not in danger, but one of his friends could be. It looks like Emily, I think. Oh, wait. No, I wanted to read it. Stop. <laughs> I think it's an ex-janitor convicted for arson. Yep. Swears okay. revenge on movie mogul's family. Is that Josh's family? I think, yeah. I think we're meant to think so. I mean, they're rich enough to have a ski lodge house with a cable car right to it. Right. How did that not count as a clue, though? Like, what? What is? Where? Where's the line? I don't know. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. No, that's good. I want to get as many clues as possible so we can make informed decisions. Huh? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so that is a clue. A picture of people that you already know. Right. <laughs> Who could these adults in the picture be? <laughs> oh. What the hell was that? Better go straight towards it. Mm -hmm. They probably just got the door open on the other side or else it's Josh messing with them. Okay, so we gotta find the spray can. That was kind of interesting. Like, so in, in the game, he is scared and he's hearing stuff, but the jump scare for us, the players, was him making it, you know? Like, like him doing the whoa just then. Am I hearing like whispers and stuff? Mm -hmm. Is that what? Okay. There's something on top of the mantle. There oh. was a glint. Thank you. Yep. Oh, oh well. Oh, okay. That's good. All right then. Are those candles? <laughs> Better look for the dangerous stuff instead. No. I'm gonna. I'm trying to. I mean, his his suggestion of the flamethrower idea. Just, I mean, just hold the lighter by it. It wouldn't take that long to melt the ice. Right. There, there are more candles right there. Just wait. There's there's them. another glint on top of the dresser. More can like literally right there. <laughs> Is that the same thing? Yeah. Sorry. The whispers are definitely picking up. <clears throat> Did he say where his bathroom was? No, he just said in one of the bathrooms, but I think you're probably right to go up the stairs. Oh, there's oh. one of the creakies. Mm -hmm. Can't stop it though. I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> I don't care. Who else is that? Uh, is Josh? I can't remember. I want to look it up. He's the one that's from um, Mr. Robot, right? Yeah. Um, oh, was he uh, the Egyptian guy in um, uh, Night of the Museum? museum? Yeah. Yes, yes.
Okay. I don't know what that sound is. Whoa. Bathroom goals. <laughs> Yay! Got it. Oh, gosh. Whoa. <laughs> Did you jump? A little. I kind of went back a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if that'll count. I have more of the freeze uh, reaction to fight or flight. Right. We're freezing our buns off out here. That's what he said earlier. That's a hilarious joke. That's just for us. They didn't know about that. <laughs> How is that girl gonna burn to death? I don't know. Oh, that, no, that was Emily, I think, in the totem, and she because she has black hair. <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger. Or <laughs> oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby, don't worry about it. Oh, I thought it was a raccoon. No. Much too big, and it didn't have a ring tail. That's true. But didn't it have a little a little burglar mash? I don't know. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, I'm don't be a jerk. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to your parents' ski lodge cabin resort. <laughs> barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Rage. <laughs> It's not your place. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Um. If it were me, I would say Warren, but it, it's obviously established with his character that he's really aggressive, so he probably would challenge if it was him. But, I mean, I don't really want to set them against each other. Yeah. I guess either way, it's, it's combative. Yeah. Maybe maybe do challenge because then he can explain himself. Like Warren is just assuming that something's happening. All right, we'll do that. We'll do challenge. What the hell were you doing with Em out on the trail? What? I saw you in there. The telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. That gets along. Maybe apologize. Just mm -hmm. kind of set things. I don't believe him. Mm -mm. Where is Emily? I think she went upstairs. You would have thought that she would have something to yeah. say about that exchange. Oh, you were right. Oh my god. That is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his drink tank? I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's been wow. in Mexico. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. That's real deep calling this homecoming a cow. I mean, they both need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, up to you. I mean, he may as well take his girlfriend's side and do provoke. Okay. Making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the nice They hate each other. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? You think that's insulting? That bitch is so hot. I, I guess I would, I don't know. I guess defuse at this point because they're just fighting. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em, why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. We 
can't get along for 10 minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah. All right. You want to go do that? No place about that whore. I hate her so much. She's so mean. Yeah, she's going to have to die. Mm-hmm. What's oh Rodeo? God, I, I guess an island? I guess. Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the raft while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate me? She's awful too. Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I forget my bag? Well, do I you? I'm here too. So not only they have a ski cabin, but they also have a guest cabin. Mm -hmm. Wow. That must be nice. Hey, porn stars. You're going to need these. Porn stars? I pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to keep you out like that. Don't worry, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. I wonder if all these deathy references or foreshadowing are just mm -hmm. them being... I was just thinking that. And I also wonder if, if we had let that fight get out of hand, if that's how the one girl could have ended up burned or if that still uh, hasn't happened. I don't know. Emily. But that will have to wait for the next episode. We're going to cut things off right here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, like, dislike, comment. You know the drill by now. But make sure you do subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And we'll see you guys next week. For Science Century, my name is Jericho. I don't know about you guys, but we're full.